Did you know compassion fatigue is a form of burnout that has physical, emotional, and spiritual effects? My name is John Gordon. I'm a national clinical trainer, and I'm here today to talk to you about self-care. Now, compassion fatigue results from working with distressed people. When focusing on others without practicing self-care, destructive behaviors can happen, like substance use, uh, apathy, maybe even isolation. Compassion fatigue can also happen when counselors are not taking care of themselves. It can happen when working with multiple traumatic issues on caseload groups. And it can also happen when working in programs that are understaffed and also receiving minimal supervision. Now, there are many ways of practicing self-care for helping professionals. I want to focus on five. Number one, eating well and getting plenty of rest. Number two, surrounding yourself with supportive colleagues and friends. Number three, in addition to supervision, counseling can be helpful. And number four, engaging in creative hobbies like sports, music, even the arts. And lastly, number five, Phoenix House offers a training in self-care. And if you think that could be helpful, please reach out to us. Now, if anything that I've talked about today, you want more information on, you're looking for some additional resources, maybe even a quick reference guide, please feel free to reach out to us at training at phoenixhouse.org. Please take care of yourself and treat yourself with the same kindness that you give to the clients. And now, you know.